What's going on guys? Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video from your Hernandez Elite Gaming. This is Alan. On today's video guys, uh, just a few days ago got myself the uh, NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card. This is the Founders Edition. What I want to do with you guys is that I'm going to be playing my favorite games Battlefield 5, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I'm not going to do a whole 30 minute gameplay on each of those games. I'm just going to give you maybe two to three minutes on each. We make this video long, but not too long. And what I want you to see in this video is will the 3080 perform well? Will it look great? The question is if I have it on max. Resolution, right? Ultra settings, 4K, you you get it, maxed out. Which is what I'm going to do right now with the 3080. I'm going to be popping this baby on my NZXT H510 Elite case. Under the hood, I got some pretty unique hardware and I'll share with you as we go into the video. If you're new to the channel, guys, make sure to subscribe. More videos are coming up. Um, also, post any questions, any comments in general. Hey, I like it. Thanks for the video. Ask questions more importantly because I want to engage with you. Also, if you have the graphics card, do you play the games I'm going to show you? And if so, what's different on your end, right? So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. All right, guys, so I got the 3080 inside my case right now. Got the computer powered up. This thing is going to be ready to go. Uh, before I jumped into each of the games one by one, there's a few things that I do first with my system, uh, with my application to make sure that things are running at the max. First things first to keep in mind. With me here... I'm going to be running 4K resolution. If you get the 3080 and you don't have a 4K monitor, you're wasting detail. You're wasting your money on the 3080. You need a 4K monitor at least to be able to really pull the capacity of the 3080 graphics card. Inside this computer, guys, I'm running several things that are very unique. And you need to have similar, similar hardware if you want yours to run somewhat like it. For example, with me, I have the Corsair Vengeance memory. These are running at 3200 on standard up to 4800 hertz. That's some pretty fast memory. Right now, the motherboard that I have the 3080 in is going to support... 128 GB of memory. Right now, I'm only running 64. I'm running the i9 10 Gen processor, right? Which is one of the latest Intel processors, 10 core, 5.2 on the gigahertz. Something also to keep in mind, which I have as well, inside here, you might not be able to see it. Yeah, maybe you do. If you look very carefully, Straight ahead, right there. I have the Western Digital. You see it? Right here. I have the Western Digital SN750 SSD. This is one of the fastest in the market. Right now, I'm running at 3400 or up to 3400 of write and read speed. Additional to that, I'm running a liquid cooler. Right now, the Kraken Z63 liquid cooler, which uses 240 mm fans. So cooling alone, besides the cooling included with the 3080, there's enough cooling going on inside my case. All right, so one of the things that I'm going to do first is I'm going to open the NVIDIA application here. And the first game I'm going to jump into is... Ghost Recon Breakpoint. 
So I'm going to go ahead and find the game here. There it is. And I'm going to optimize it to give me the best settings. And right now, if I bring you a little closer, you can see that NVIDIA has found the game to be optimized. It needs to be optimized. So I'm going to go ahead and choose optimize here. And what that's going to do is it's going to basically give me the best settings for my GPU, right? And for my hardware. We got ultimate 16 high ultimate 38 40 by 21 that's 4k resolution very high ultimate very high ultra maxed out maxed out basically so we're going to go ahead and close that another application that i personally use um, is the msi dragon center personally really liked it there's some cool uh things that i really liked about that the, the first one is this color option where it allows me to kind of change it to enhance the overall look. You'll notice what it's going to do now. It's just going to enhance everything to look really well. I'm going to choose stream performance here and exit. Now it's giving me this vibrant, colorful, right, look to my display. Some things to keep in mind really quick, guys, because this is where a lot of people get it wrong. For you to be able to run the 3080, in your computer, you're going to need at least, at least a 750 watt power supply because this graphics card alone is going to put about two so, three so of voltage, right? And the rest is distributed throughout the case. You may get away with the 650, but I would say 750 to be safe. Additional to that, you need accessories because, okay, now you got great graphics. You're going to be pulling great, great gameplay, and you got some cheap mouse and keyboard. Instead, you need to get yourself something very premium, very elite level. With me today, I have the Logitech G915 keyless RGB Bluetooth light keyboard. This keyboard is a beast. It's accurate. It's got the light speed technology, the Logitech G product. And this is amazing because when I'm trying to do my key selection, I want to be in control of that gameplay. Additional to that, I got the G703. Yep. Gaming, RGB, wireless, light speed, again, gaming mouse. This accessory right here you need. If you're going to be going with the 3080, guys, even the 3070, anywhere in the 30 series, of gaming, you need great accessories. You can't be trying to play a good game and your mouse don't work right, right? Your keyboard is not accurate. You can't really press what... Anyways, let's go ahead and jump on the game here. It's loading. Another thing too to keep in mind too, guys, which has a lot to do with gameplay, especially multiplayer, is internet connection. You can't be trying to play 4K, um, a high-end graphics game with dial-up, with Wi-Fi, even though you can, I recommend that you have a direct connection. So far, so good. I want you to look at the details of the game, guys. So here it comes. We're starting up right now. And you be the judge of this game. I'm going to launch it. Do a, a minute or two of gameplay and we'll get out and go into the next one. Look at that. So far, very, very quick. Just going to load up a campaign level here really quick. This is a huge game. Level, the map are huge. And I'm not so much concerned about how long it takes to load, even though it's acceptable considering how big the levels are, but more when it's already loaded, like now, what is it going to do? Right? Oh, wow, look at the details on this. Look at this.
Let's look at the graphics while we're here. I can already tell that the details on this, guys, if you can see it for yourself, is just one of, one of its kind. Look at the details of the whole map. I'll bring you a little closer to Look at the details on that. Amazing. Look at the water. Look at the zoom on that. Got a hostile position. Like, didn't even think. It just did it. What? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. This thing is like steady, solid. Graphics are, I, I can see, if you look very carefully, maybe not because you're, you're in the video, but I can see every grass detail moving. The mountains, everything. Well, you saw it for yourself too. How I kill everybody in like a second. <laughs> wow. Look at that. The truck went down there. The graphics were amazing. Ultra settings. 4K resolution. Additional to that, it loaded pretty quickly. Even though it took a minute or so, I agree, on the load up time, it's okay because this is a huge level. And it's okay to take a little longer to load. And Come on, let's agree. I'm running an i9 processor. Western Digital SN 750. It's going to load within seconds, but not everything is going to take a second. It's going to take a moment depending on how much content is loading. That wasn't the question. Is once it loaded, right? Was it fast? Was it stable? You saw it for yourself. I was killing everybody. Didn't even hesitate once. Let's go ahead and choose another game here. Uh, another of my favorite, which is going to be Battlefield Five. We're going to go ahead and hop on that one. So let me just make sure uh, that Battlefield Five is optimized. Nope, it wasn't. You see? Oh, it was. It showed from the outside, from this view, that it wasn't. But when I went in it, it is. So it's fully optimized. Full screen, ultra setting, ultra, 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 30, 40, 4K resolution, ultra, ultra. This thing is maxed out. He knows. He knows you're running a 3080. He knows you got an i9. He knows you got so much memory. He knows your hardware. Another thing, too, guys, if you're wondering. Well, I want to know more about the 3080, uh, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. I made a video reviewing the product where I walk through the design. I tell you more about the specs. You can find that video on my HernandezAffordableProducts.com or channel. Any of the products that I'm talking about, you're interested in, just look at the video description. If you see the option show more under the video, you'll have the list of all the products that you saw or that I talked about in the video. You can go and shop for those on Amazon or on eBay and get those for yourself. The Logitech G products, the 3080, and so on. Even this Samsung 4K monitor. It loaded really, really quick. I can already tell the details on this. Let me bring you closer. It's amazing. All right, let's go ahead and hop on here together. Now, that spawn was just a bit hesitant. Maybe it was because at first. I don't know. But let's see. Let's see what happens after a few minutes. He 
in one map. Now you see this time around that was a lot more faster. That was a lot more stable. But let's look at the details because a lot of times in between when you're spawning versus when everybody's gathered together, you know, all the enemies and all the your teammates, that might be where it might maybe it might give you that small hesitation because of so much at once. But overall, let's look at the details on this. Look at the details of, 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 of the game. Look at the rain, right? Look at the water. Oh, the, you know what? This is a huge level four. A little, some little laid back killing. Go ahead and grab the sniper. Now that was a lot faster, you notice that. Because again, at first when the game loaded, maybe, you know, it hesitated a little bit because it was so much at one time. But now that the, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, SSD, the processor, the GPU has loaded, everything is loaded, now we can see, you know, something more stable overall when you spawn and, you know, when, when you're gathered around a lot of things like other soldiers. Look at the details of that, guys. Look at the graphics. Look at the palm trees. Give you a little zoom look. I mean, this is, I'm telling you, is one of the best details that I've seen. And, of course, we're pulling 4K. This is not your typical 1080p. Look at the rain on that. Let me just stop here for a minute. Oh, my gosh. This is one of a kind graphics card, dude. Let's go ahead and do another minute or so. But look, look how, how, how faster it was this time around. And let's take a moment to, to take in this detail here, guys. Take a minute to look at the details. Take a minute to look at the details. Where are these people? And this is a full house. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm in the right spot. I'm in the right spot. All I got to do now is just chill right here and wait for their heads. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at her. Look at her. Damn. Got, I hit her. <laughs> like, can you stop running for once? Got him. Look at her. You saw the weapon? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Sometimes I just want to go in there and just choke him and choke him. <laughs> what do you think so far on the RTX 3080? Battlefield 5? Ghost Recon Breakpoint? One of the best games out right now. And it ran really good. Graphics were amazing. 4K resolution. That 3080 graphics card is not even thinking. It's just back-to-back -back performance. We're on our second game. And it's still solid. I'm going to do one more just because I don't want to make this video too long. And I'm going to jump into the one and only... Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. I'm going to go ahead and open my NVIDIA GeForce application. I want to make sure that this game is, oh, look at this. Just as I was about to say, it needs to be optimized. Let me go ahead and bring you closer. We're going to wrap this up here. You can end the video whenever you want, guys. You can stay and watch this last one. That's up to you. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate that. As always, I look forward to making more and um, not just to give to you guys, but also to share my experience, share what I'm doing with you, uh, right? If you're a gamer. All right, so look at that. This one loaded pretty quick as well. Go ahead and wrap this up, doing one more Call of Duty. Cold War. This is a good game too. So we're going to go ahead and jump on the Cold War game here. 
And I'm already going to tell you right now, guys. The 3080 is a great graphics card. You want it, go and get it. Just look at it. This thing is one of its kind. So get it. Stop procrastinating. Get the graphics card if you want it. I'm going to put the links on the description for the Samsung monitor if you're looking for a good 4K on a budget. The 3080 uh, graphics card, the Logitech G products that I have in front of me. Look, 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 look. I got it in the game when it was already started, so I'm going to go ahead and hop on here fresh. Solid. It loaded pretty quick. Very stable. I can see it already. And even though I'm on this night level, it's pretty, pretty fast. Go ahead and bring you a little closer here. I'll shoot your car down if you leave it outside like that. As always, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have, thanks for your support.